Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Now, while big tech corporations are developing server-based AI solutions left, right and center that live exclusively in the cloud, users are increasingly interested in trying chatbot interactions on their own local PCs. But luckily, AMD also shares that same sentiment with running large language model functions locally and via an open source solution. So sit back and relax as we take a look at running large language models on local hardware via open source implementations. And now the most powerful AI services that are available today run almost exclusively on high-end powerful NVIDIA hardware and they also force customers to use an internet connection and connect to a cloud server. However, AMD is trying to take an alternate approach and that is to promote a chatbot experience based on LM Studio, which is a tool designed to download and run large language models in a local environment. And now AMD's official blog highlights how AI assistants are becoming essential resources for productivity and for brainstorming new ideas. With LM Studio, people interested in trying these new AI tools can easily discover, download and run local large language models without the need for complex setups or proper programming knowledge or data center level infrastructure just to be able to take advantage of these features. AMD have also provided detailed instructions for downloading and running the correct LM Studio version based on the user's hardware and operating system. And what I love most more about this open source approach is that it includes support for the likes of Linux, Windows, or Mac OS, so you're not going to be limited on your operating system type. Now, this type of program can seemingly work on a Ryzen processor alone, even though the minimum hardware requirements, a CPU with native support for AVX2 instructions, and the system must also have at least 16 gigabytes of DRAM and the GPU that you're running in your system should be equipped with a minimum of 6 gigabytes of VRAM. And now owners of the Radeon RX 7000 line of GPUs are advised to get the ROCM technical preview of LM Studios. Now for those of you who don't know what ROCM is, this is something that I am super happy and I'm so pleased AMD take this direction when it comes to the space of AI. And this being AMD's new open source software stack for optimizing large language models and other types of AI workflows. After installing the right version of LM Studios, users can then search a large language model to download and run on their local PCs. AMD themselves suggest that you either use Minstrel 7B or LLAMAA version 2 7B, which can be easily be found in the software by searching these terms down below. And now once LM Studio and some large language models are properly installed, users will then need to select the right quantization model. Q4KM is recommended for most Ryzen AI chips and owners of Radeon GPUs also need to enable the GPU offload option in the application settings. Otherwise, the chosen LLM model will likely run very slowly on CPU computational power alone. And now by promoting LM Studio as a third party tool to run large language models locally, AMD is trying to close the gap that Nvidia and its recently announced chat with RTX solution recently came out with. Now as cool as Nvidia's chat with RTX software is, it is a proprietary application that runs exclusively on GeForce RTX 30 or RTX 40,000 GPUs. Whereas LM Studio provides a more open and welcoming approach when it comes to users who can use these large language models supporting both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs and most AVX2 equipped generic PC processors. So I think that this is a really great approach to see AMD take when it comes to the space of AI and large language models, as this is exactly the type of approach that I take for any form of software or hardware and that is open source and locally run as I hate being forced to either have to be connected to the internet to run a piece of software or be forced into a certain ecosystem to run a piece of software. By something being open source and locally run and not locked away for people with certain types of hardware, it means you are ultimately in control and you have more flexibility and more overall usability in the long term when it comes to your software. With this approach being open source, it makes it much more easier and accessible to interact with large language models and being locally run means you're not dependent on whether or not you have an internet connection and you won't have to worry so much about all of your data that you're uploading to these cloud-based services to be potentially mixed up and compromised as we've seen with some large language models where they have hallucinated between different chat logs and instances between users, which recently has actually been a leak of some people's data. 
but in the ever so growing market of cloud this, cloud that, AI this over the internet, I'm really glad to see AMD take a step back and focus on locally run applications opposed to going all in on their cloud infrastructure. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments around this story. What do you think of AMD taking this approach to have their large language models run locally and also take an open source approach for this? Let me know all of your thoughts around this in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you once again for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye for now.